Thank you for coming back for another segment of Get to the Point. That's right. We're getting right on to the point. We ain't tallying. We ain't treading no waters. Okay, media takeout brought it out. I kid you no lie. You cannot make this stuff up. It says, Kenya Moore husband fights back, saying he didn't cheat on Kim, and he definitely ain't gay. He just wants his life back. That's all it is. Okay. Woo, explosive, explosive, explosive. Can you tell me that? Ah! And I had said this in several of the vid videos in the past. But y'all go back and take a look through the archive and watch, watch, watch. And get your entertainment on, okay? But anyway, it goes, uh, it's given to us by staff media, uh, of me media takeout. Um, and the title reads, ATL Housewife Kenya's Husband Fights Back. I did not cheat. And I am not gay. Okay, this was posted on Saturday. Okay, the 21st. We're going to get on into this mix. All right. I told you it's going to get juicy. And I told you uh, rumors and wars and everything coming up on this marriage uh, about him, about what he didn't do, what he should have done, what he could have did. And his personal life is being dug up. Okay, for everybody to see on Front Street. That's what it does when you play in the entertainment field. And they watch you. They, they, they We're like paparazzi. Well, I'm not like paparazzi, but we report the news. However, whenever, whatever is given to us. Same as you go in the grocery store and you waking, you're waiting in line to check out. And they got all those different magazines with gossip stories up there for you to partake of. And it's up to you to buy it or not and then read it. And it turns out to be like, oh, that was it. I'm giving it to you free on my channel, Dev Snails 40s World. So please hit that subscribe button and, and tune in for videos that will be dropping just like it's hot. Okay. We go in and the article reads, as such, Real Housewives of Atlanta star Kenya Moore and her husband, Mark Daly, announced that they were separating on Thursday. Okay. And the news hit fans of the reality star like a bolt of lightning. Okay. Media Takeout News spoke to friends of Kenya who claimed that the two are separating because Kenya was tired of living apart. Mark currently lives in New York while Kenya lives in Atlanta with their 10-month-old uh, baby girl, Brooklyn. And according to Powell, the distance was too much for the Atlanta housewife. Now, again, my sidebar very quickly. Kenya, you knew this. You knew when you spread it your legs, had them uh, artificially inseminate you, with um, your so-called hubby sperm, you knew that this man wasn't coming to Georgia to live. And you knew you weren't really coming to uh, New York to live. All right? Because if that was the case, you would have been up there from the get-go. Okay? And then that's where you should have lived with him up there being married, as you all say, that they are. You could have felt the uh, situation out. You could have got more aware of what you didn't Take heed before you went over to St. Lucia's and got married. You should at least wait six months to a year before you call yourself getting pregnant. Not right off the bat. I mean, come on, girl. Come on. We need to just sit and relax and enjoy being married for a while. At least two years before you, uh, you know, unless you've been there with this man for years and years and years. You know what I'm saying? Then, yeah, going to get pregnant just that and third. But with you just really meeting him in that formative stage where you should be dating and, and, and getting close to a monogamous relationship, meaning y'all just seeing each other, y'all just you know having sex with each other, and nobody else is partaking in none of that. Y'all are idle. Y'all could have went and did that for about a year and a half, and then got serious. Well, okay, let's plan a wedding, or okay, we're not gonna plan a wedding, but we're gonna go and get married, you know. And then you know, like I said, you did everything out of order. But getting back to the article, it says media takeout news spoke to friends of Kenya. Okay, I read all that. Uh, but another blogger, the usual reliable B. Scott. Now, anybody knows out there in the vlogging world, B. Scott, fact check her stuff before she put it out. So, yes, it must be rumors spreading and people want to drop receipts. And that's why Mr. Mark is trying to get ahead of this story. And he's telling everybody who break out news on him and this issue with him separating and getting a divorce from Kenya Moore. He didn't even say his wife, y'all. He said Kenya Moore. Yes, he did. Audio is very powerful. Go back and look at it. Or hell, go read it. It's all in black and white. 
Yeah, he said he is separating from Kenya Moore. He didn't say, I'm separating from my wife. Da, 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 da. Please give us privacy while we work through this divorce. He didn't say wife. No, he didn't. Okay, loose lips, sink ships. I'm just saying, okay. But anyway, um, another blogger who's very reputable and she takes her uh, journalistic type of skills very serious because she knows she can be held accountable for putting, you know, things out there that aren't necessarily all the way 100% true. And hey, if we get into high 90%, that's truly accurate. <laughs> well, we got more of the truth being told and maybe a little stuff to embellish it to make it look a little fresher. You know what I'm saying? But it's truth in the pudding. So here we go. All right. Uh, B. Scott is claiming another more scandalous reason on his latest podcast. Okay. Mark Data has been laying it low and spreading it wide. That that little uh, adage comes from the Braxton family values, mom. <laughs> yeah, she was saying that about her ex-husband, Tony Braxton, daddy them. Okay, but anyway, I just thought I'd give y'all a little edification there. Um, in case y'all didn't watch the show and saw it for yourselves. But anyway, uh, Mark Daly has been laying it low and spreading it wide. He is out here interacting with other women, okay, in New York. The implication is that Mark was allegedly cheating on his wife with a woman. Okay, why wouldn't it be a woman? We thought he's heterosexual, but, you know, people like me, I saw a little deeper. Just his mannerisms, just, you know, his little jewelry he put on in his nose and, you know, I, I, I can't he, he even look it. I'm just saying, don't get on me about it, just this instinct, this radar detection that I have. That's showing me and saying he is bi, okay? If not all the way gay, okay? But anyway, that's just my opinion. You know, I don't have any proof from it. I just go with what I feel as an instinct. All right, but anyway, uh, the implications that Mark was allegedly cheating on his wife with a woman, okay? Another blogger, Alanis Tamara Tattles, is another, you know, well-known blogger who fact-checks her stuff. Make sure she's dotting her eyes and crossing her teeth before she releases a story. So, meaning whoever's leaking out the information, they are a very credible source and they have no reason to lie. Now, if they're getting paid for their services of snitching, okay, but like they say, snitches get stitches. All right, but I don't know if Kenya like about that life. I don't know if she about that life. Okay, but anyway, it goes on to say Tamara Towers makes an even more explosive claim. That blog suggests that Mark was living a down low lifestyle. Anybody don't know what down low means? It means you like to partake of the same sex. Yes. Okay, moving on. The implications that is that Mark is secretly gay. Okay. Only thing I can say, take a look at the pictures. Take a look at the pictures and watch his mannerisms. And you can tell, yes, he put he a professional down low brother. Meaning he could be bi. He liked both women and men. Okay? And I was society ain't nothing wrong with that. Okay? They even can marry each other. So, let's let let have. Let them be. They ain't serving nobody but themselves. Okay? But anyway, that's my take. That's my spiel. Going back to the article, it says, Well, Media Takeout News spoke with a close friend of Mark. And he is coming out swinging. Okay? Now, why is the friend of the Mark is coming out? Is he gay also? Or is he male? And he knows... Uh, Mark's sexual activities up and down. He's seen it. Okay, I don't know. But he coming out swinging for his friend Mark. Or is he the other person? Okay, the down low brother that he's supposed to be swinging with. All right, that's just my claim of fame. Okay, it's all allegedly. I'm just reading the story, giving it to you all. I'm making my opinions. You're deciphering on making your opinions. And that's where we at. Okay, but anyway, my friend claims that he wants to Stay ahead of the rumors, all right, and set the record straight. The friend told me to take out Mark is not gay, far from it, and he never cheated on Kenya. He loves her. Well, that's what a friend is going to take up for his friend more than likely would say, okay? Going back to the article, it says the friend added, this is why Mark didn't want to go on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. He wants nothing to do with the fuckery on the show. Well, pretty much he told Andy Cohen that, because Andy Cohen told Kenya that on a reunion uh, about what he said. And Kenya was trying to 
backpedal and say, no, he didn't mean that. Well, yeah, he did. Can you don't speak for the man? The man already had a conversation with Andy and the other execs, and he told him how he felt about the show, and he didn't give a damn about coming on the, the show, okay? That was you and your uh, understanding, your contractual agreement. Hey, but if she want to flow with me, she going to break that contract, and ain't nothing y'all can do about it, okay? But they did do something about it. She lost her job for a season, <laughs> okay? She didn't get paid because she was loving playing in a household, uh, being your wife dutifully, and she was having a baby by you. So she didn't want to uh, upset none of that balance because that's what she had wanted for a very long time, okay? But that's all I have for this video, quite Cute, short, and sweet. All right. Y'all get down in them comments. Y'all tell me what y'all feel about this. And I'm going to come back with more videos on Kenya and this debacklement of a marriage and how Mark is seeing things from a new perspective of eyes and how he's going to get over. Yes, on Kenya Moore. Allegedly, if she is, you know, about that life, Kenya going to come out swinging herself and surprise us all, okay? Because that woman, like I say, she stay lot loaded and ready to spray. Don't matter who can get it. She said everybody can get it, okay? It's her in Brooklyn against the world, all right? Her in Brooklyn against the world. They so sweet. They're a pretty couple, too. But um, that's all I have for this video. I'll get with y'all for my last and final video for Sunday in the wee hours of the morning. Okay, y'all take care. Bye-bye.